Your add-ons can have a significant impact on your frame rate in World of Warcraft. In this video, I want to show you two add-ons that you can use to measure that impact. These measurements will help you find the add-on or add-ons that are causing issues without having to go through and disable them all one by one. The tools I'm going to talk about measure the amount of memory and CPU used by each add-on. I want to focus on the CPU more because memory doesn't have a major impact on frame rates. On the other hand, CPU use impacts FPS directly because when an add-on eats a lot of processing power, it leaves less time for the game to make more frames, which leads to a drop in your FPS. You can see your current FPS by hovering over the question mark icon on the quick menu. Alternatively, you can also use the default FPS display by pressing Ctrl plus R. If that doesn't work, make sure you haven't changed the key binding by going to Key Bindings, Miscellaneous, and Toggle Frame Rate Display. If you don't like the location of the display, you can change it by downloading an add-on like FPS Counter. This simple add-on allows you to move the location and change the color and size of the font. Okay, so the first add-on tool I want to go over is called Add-on CPU Usage. It's an easy to use add-on created by the author of Plater and Details. It can be installed from CurseForge or through an add-on manager like Overwolf or Wowa. To use it, you can click on its minimap icon or type forward slash CPU in chat. This will open a window that walks you through the steps required to measure your add-ons. The first thing you will notice is that this add-on is meant to be used in a raid. If you aren't big into raiding, you can still use the add-on in a raid finder group to run some tests. Once you've entered a raid group, you'll need to click on start profiler at the bottom of the window and then jump in combat with a raid boss for two minutes. When that fight ends, a report will pop up and show you the impact of each add-on. The report shows how much of the two minute fight was dedicated to processing the code for each of your add-ons. So if an add-on had a total time of 1.5 seconds, that would mean that 1.5 seconds of the possible 120 second fight was spent on using that add-on. On a side note, you can also click on the show graphic button at the top to see how your CPU use for your different add-ons change throughout the fight. And this can be really useful in identifying FPS problems that occur during certain phases of a fight or when spells like Bloodlust are used. At the bottom of the window, you can see that it says that anything below one second of total time is good. If your FPS is hurting in RAID, I recommend that you run this report and try disabling or replacing those add-ons which have high total time, large numbers in the milliseconds column, or large numbers in the peak column. If you don't want to jump into a RAID, you can use another helpful add-on called Add-on Usage. Like the other tool, this one will show how much time your add-ons occupy on your CPU. You can also download Add-on Usage from CurseForge or through a manager. After installing it, you can use it by typing forward slash Add-on Usage into chat. This will open a window that shows the memory usage of your add-ons. To add the CPU measurements, you'll need to check the CPU usage box at the bottom. But make sure that you turn it off when you're done testing because it can slow things down a little bit. By default, the window will show a snapshot of memory and CPU use. To update that snapshot, you can click on the round arrow at the bottom to see a new report. You can also click on the play icon to enable continuous updating as well. This will update the table every second so you can watch for spikes in CPU use. To make things easier, you can also sort the add-ons by clicking on the CPU header at the top of the table. From there, you can watch the list and try disabling or replacing the add-ons that are using more than their fair share of CPU. If you're looking at replacing an add-on, you can try downloading different add-ons that do the same thing and measure their CPU use. I actually did that in a video where I compared six of the most popular nameplate add-ons. You can watch it next by clicking on the video that just popped up. 